what's up? <coughs> Red Nation, what's up, YouTube? This your boy, yeah. No. Let's try this one time. And I'm back once again with another YouTube video. Matter of fact. In this video, I want to discuss Love Taco. Cole and Miller. I really want to touch on this topic, this subject. Him. This Ricky. Left tackle. Cole and Miller. I want to talk about him for a moment. So. The Oakland Raiders. Well, I ain't gonna say the Oakland Raiders. John Gruden. Went into the draft. Matter of fact. Let's not forget. John Gruden. Traded away our. Our, uh. Which pick do we have? What pick do we have? I forgot which pick we had, but we traded it away. John Gruden traded that pick away for the 15th pick to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers went and got Vita Vea. I wanted Vita Vea. He was still on the clock. Vita Vea was still on the clock. I'm going to get to what I'm talking about. Vita Vea was still on the clock. So, we all knew Clear Matt needed help at pass rush. This before, damn, I look good. Let's scratch that. But that's before he traded Clear Matt. So, if you had a big guy like Peter Vega on the clock, why not get him? Why not get Peter Vega? It's an automatic double team. I appreciate you getting more hurts, and that's automatic double team as well. But Vita Vea, that's a big guy. That's a huge guy. But instead of going to get him, here comes John Brewer. The Oakland Raiders are on the clock with the so-and-so pick of the 2019 NFL draft. The Oakland Raiders decide to trade their to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So now Oakland get on the clock with the 15th pick. They go get Colton Miller. Every Raider fan that's watching the draft at the draft, like, what the hell? Who the f is a Colton Miller? We looking around like, you need a pass rush. You need defensive players, and you go get a Colton Miller. You go get an offensive lineman when you need a defensive lineman. Anterior defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they had Roquan. No, I think Roquan Smith already come. But you still got Vita Veo on the clock. You still got Vita Veo on the clock. You go get a code. So, fast forward. Colton Miller. So, 2016, the Oakland Raiders only allowed 13 sacks. So, is Colton Miller the reason why the Oakland Raiders offense is struggling. Is Colton Miller the reason why the Oakland offense is struggling? So, I'm going to say yes and I'm going to say no. But he is part of the reason. He's the biggest part of the reason why the Oakland Raiders offense is struggling. Because if you actually look at the majority of the games, Derek Carr got sat by a person who is pressuring from the left. And that's and and that's Colton Miller's side, left top. And there is a they and they are attacking Colton Miller because he's a rookie and he inexperienced and he always lined up in front of the op, the defense the opposite team best defense player. He's always lined up in front of the best team defense player. That's why I don't understand why they don't come in with two two down tight ends. They need to come in with two down tight ends to help out Colton Miller. And the Oakland Raiders only allowed 13 sacks in 2016. 2017, they only allowed 24 sacks. There were five games, five to six, seven, eight games each season. Dirt Carr came off the field, off the game with a clean Jersey. 
Dirk Carr, none this season came off the field with a clean jersey. None this season. And we're at week 11. Zero. Zero. And we had first round pick, Colton Miller. They already allowed 10 sacks. He already allowed 10 sacks by himself on his side. Already. Don't forget, 2016, Dirk Carr was only sacked 13 times. 2017, Dirk Carr was sacked 24 times. This season, Dirk Carr has already been sacked 30 something times. Already been sacked 33 times. Already. Week 11, already been sacked 33 times. So I'm not going to put it all on Colton Miller. I'm not going to say he the only reason why the Oakland offense is struggling. But he plays a big part because he's so inexperienced and he knew and he's a rookie. So they're going to line their best defense. So defense going to line their best players up against him. So that's the Oakland Raiders' biggest weakness is that left top position. But... Uh, all the way over here because the Oakland Raiders have offense have been banged up, dealing with injuries, moving players over here, moving players over there, new people on the line, old people on the line. So I'm not gonna put all the blame on him because there are so many problems on this Oakland Raiders offensive line, which was so good two years in a row, but injuries cause it to like fall apart. Because you got Brandon Parker out there now in the spirit. You got Donald Penn, moved right tackle. You got Colin Miller, new at left tackle. You had Rodney Hudson, Kalisha Assembly hurt. So our main players that we needed been hurt. Like so many people have been hurt. So that's the reason why they've been struggling so much and giving up so much size. So you have to look at that as well, why the Oakland Raiders offense have, has not been so successful. Because when you've seen games where the Oakland Raiders offense line was clicking on point and set the car, our offense has been explosive, has been getting big plays. And Derek Carr, he really, uh, he really, um, what was I want to say? He really, like, don't run as much when he can as opposed to. But he just stand there and just take the hit. That's what I don't like about Derek Carr. He just stand there. Ever since that injury, he just stand there and take the sack, take the hit. When that sack and hit can be avoided. But I'm really not going to put this on Colton Miller. But he plays a big part because he is the weakness. Colton Miller is the weakness. And teams try to take advantage of that weakness. So that's basically what I wanted to say about Colton Miller. Teams take advantage of other team weaknesses. And I don't understand why Gruden and Tom Cable have not fixed that problem. Because they attack Colton Miller's squad. Because basically our whole offense has been a weakness because of injuries. So that's the reason why <clears throat> you haven't seen our offense be as close. Because the offensive line is not protected. It's injured, banged up. Need two bad weeks. <laughs> I'm just saying, need two bad weeks for them offensive players. Them bit one. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. I am tired. I work today. Well, I worked today. Not I have to work. Well, I worked today. So, yeah. So, I'm not going to put the blame. All the blame on Colton Miller. But he plays a part. Giving up 10 sacks already. And you're the number one. Over, I ain't gonna say no one over offense, but you the number one pick for the Oakland Raiders. You got to do better. You was the number one pick. Well, he's six eight, but he's not big. But he like he got to gain weight. But I think he's six eight. I think I believe he's six eight. But you the number one pick for the Oakland Raiders. You got to show up and show off. You got to do better than what you're doing. But I expect him to develop over time. But giving up ten sacks alone is horrible because Derek Carr was only sacked sixteen times. In 2016, our best season, when we went to the playoffs. And that's unacceptable. That's not what Raider Nation do. But all right, y'all, I'm all. Peace, be blessed. I'm in my trunk,